of water or the sound of the spear? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> well, between today, between yesterday, and between that last vlog, a lot of random things have gone on. Just didn't go to the park the last few days. Kind of enjoying my staycation at home, away from work, and just so much fun. But today, back to the park, meeting up with some friends today, and gonna have an awesome, awesome day. But tomorrow will be another day, and there's still a few more days before I have to go back to work. So you can expect this uh, random vlog to have some fun and be a little bit different the next few days. So with that said, it's on to today, and I'm still thriving off of yesterday. Yeah, I went on a date yesterday with a cute girl. It was a good time, so yeah. Always good and always fun. It literally wouldn't be going to Epcot if I didn't come over and check out all the random art. Festival of the Arts is definitely one of my favorites, guys. It's here for a couple more weeks, so make sure you come check it out before it takes off. So I met up with some of my friends. They're both kind of shy and crazy in their own type of ways. <laughs> and we're here to have the awesomest day we possibly can. So we're gonna go get more into more trouble, I should say, because that's what you do at Epcot, you get into trouble. Then again, we get in the trouble anyway, even if we're at work. So hey, that's another story for another day. So we're starting off in Mexico because sometimes you start in Mexico, sometimes you never leave. But either way, we're headed into Mexico. You start off at the tequila bar. They have all these incredible drinks on here, guys. There's so much good stuff on here. I really do love the avocado one. And I'm gonna see if I can try that or try something different today, but because I really do like that avocado one. So much tequila. Only one day to drink it. Don't think it's gonna happen to have all of it. That blood orange goodness right there. Oh yeah. So this thing's actually really good. The blood orange one. It's got a little chipotle flavor to it. It's got a little spice in the tahini that goes around the rim. And it's just kind of strong, which I'm all for. You guys should know that by now. Well, we're off to go have more of our Epcot day. So let's go have a drink or two or three or four before we head out the door. Oh wait, we're leaving Mexico. So that just needs another country of the world to go to. Test track, test track. Let's go ride test track. And here's today's vehicle. Kind of with the same type of concept, but a smaller version of it because that's what's good. Not the best stats on this one though, but still, it's gonna be a fun one to race. 206 today, not too bad, not the best, but hey, I still like that car either way. Test track is always a super good time, no matter what you do. As long as you race it around and have the most fun with the crazy cars that you can build. So we're gonna keep on cruising and uh, see what else we can get into because that's what you do at Epcot. Totally found ourselves over here to get another drink because it's Epcot. You gotta get another drink. <laughs> It's all about this blood orange Cosmo, guys. It's very sour. I love things that are sour. Cause you guys already know I'm sour. <laughs> well, it's off to the next part. I think we're gonna go ride Soren. Maybe check out some more of this pretty art later. But right now, let's go to Soren. Soren time. Let's go back home to Cali. So Soren was pretty awesome, and we literally just found our way back down here. It was actually Rachel's first time riding Soren over California. What did you feel about it, Rach? Um, <laughs> one more round of bottles to the ground, drink it up, pound down, pass it around because the whole world of Epcot's gonna turn totally upside down. That's why we're headed right back to Mexico because you gotta get a margarita and slam it down. Ooh, they have frozen margaritas. Let's get a margarita and have what's good. Half strawberry, half lime. You really can't go wrong with that. It's so good in so many ways. And they overfilled it like crazy. It's dripping off and getting radical. So let's drink it down. It's all about guardians of the galaxy. Guardians of the galaxy in rewind. Rachel needs a picture of herself to show that she has ridden Guardians of the Galaxy because she's that much stuff to go ride. I really love bringing my friends on roller coasters and ones, especially the ones who don't ride them all the time like I do, because then you get radical reactions like the ones that Rachel gave you. <laughs> she tries not to laugh for it. Guardians is so good, guys. Seriously, definitely top five credit coaster for sure. So good in so many Vacoma type ways. But it's off to explore the rest of the world. Do I even have to tell you guys that after Guardians, we decided to come back to the margarita bar and get another drink because that's what you do at Epcot. You drink frozen margaritas and you just never ever leave the awesomeness that is Mexico. Isn't that right, Jana? Yeah. She knows what's up. <laughs> do I even have to tell you guys that I got the same drink as last time because it's just that good in that many scrumptious type of ways. So let's chill in Mexico and have another drink today. 
The sun is starting to set at Epcot. So pretty over here on the lake for sure. Definitely a very pretty park. This is straight up what happens when we chill together. Trust me guys, it's a good time either way. My friends are the best. And just like that, it is frozen time. So let's head on in and get frozen. Yeah, it's frozen time. So let's head on in and jump on the boat ride. Of course, at the end of the ride, you find a troll. Look at that crazy, crazy long nose. He's just trolling around. Let's get away because it's getting quite scary that way. So let's head out the door before the troll comes after you and chases you away. I really always do love going on Frozen. It's so much fun in so many ways. And then that troll at the end. And then literally outside right now, it smells insanely good. It's the bakery that's right here. It smells like it's super like awesome, like, ra like I want some raspberries. I want to say uh, cinnamon and raisins. I knew it had an R on the tongue. I just couldn't get it all the way out. Either way, it's, it's still super yummy that way. But we're off to enjoy some more of our Epcot night. And I don't know where we're going because everything's been like totally random today, but it's been so much more fun that way. Cheers. I really do love that they have all these rainbows for Festival of the Arts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe guys here on Pride Coaster Club because it's all about unity to the community. I found the phone booth. Rachel's sitting here on the phone. She's trying to call her boyfriend because her boyfriend wants to call her and talk to her. <laughs> no. Beautiful single lady. Go hit her up. <laughs> This is what happens when you eat fish and chips with an English person. So if you're going to do it properly, you have to put a whole bunch of vinegar on everything, and then you're going to put no, no mayo, no, no mayo. mayo, ew, ew. She's not going to eat it. Disgusting. You're going to put a whole bunch of vinegar on it. Whole bunch of vinegar on it. Yeah, everywhere, and then you're going to make sure you vinegar salt. everything, and then mayo heavy salt. is so American. You can't do mayo. It's not. It's, it's not cool. This is what happens, guys, if you can eat fish and chips with an English person. They, they know their stuff, so just don't mess Get with them. Get off my chips! What are you doing? <laughs> so, you know, we totally had fish and chips. Rachel's from England, so she's like, we need fish and chips. Jana put mayo on her fish and chips. Jana, and mayonnaise on fish and chips. You can't do that. I love mayo and salt. Don't mess with the British people on their fish and chips. <laughs> but it's getting windy because I love the wind. And we're going to go ride Ratatouille because you go to France and when you're at Epcot because that's what's totally good. Ratatouille time! It's all about heading to Gusto's. So let's go head on over and chill with the rats. Well, that's the end of tonight's adventure after Ratatouille. I don't know why, everything always seems to end in France. Jenna, how do you feel about France? Very, very good. I love it. She's I love just, France. She's just high on French bed right now. She's had <laughs> way too much of that baguette. I love it. It's so good in so many ways. Either way, we'll see you here another day here at Epcot. Please be sure to like, <laughs> comment, share, subscribe here on YouTube, as you never know where other Rachel and Rachel will go. <laughs> Sometimes Jana comes too, but hey, that's another story for a different day. Love you all, stay safe, beautiful, amazing, and like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.